Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create XML sitemaps using a plugin called WordPress SEO by Yoast. Now the reason you want to have an XML sitemap is because these sitemaps make it easier for search engines to find all of the content on your website. For example, if you have a website with no sitemap, a search engine has to find a page on your website and then through that page it follows links and it goes throughout your website via the links on that page that it finds. Now the problem is if you don't link to every page then that page will not be found by the search engines or it'll be more difficult for the search en engine to find. And that's why having an XML sitemap which is basically a list of every single page on your website becomes so much more beneficial because a search engine doesn't have to go searching around on the page itself to find pages. It can use the sitemap and then focus on reading the content on all your pages and then finding a, sp a spot to rank it within the search index. So like I said, we're gonna use the plugin WordPress SEO by Yoast. I recommend you use this one because it does a lot of other things as well. It's always good to limit the number of plugins you have. So you don't have to have a separate plugin for sitemaps. You don't have to have a separate plugin for SEO, another separate plugin for social media integration. You can actually do all of those things with WordPress SEO by Yoast. So we're gonna install that plugin right now. And here we are on the dashboard of our WordPress site. We're gonna hover over plugins and then click on add new. In the search box, we're gonna search for WordPress SEO. And the very first one that shows up in my search is WordPress SEO by Yoast. And this is the one we want. Click on install now and then click on activate. And then we get this annoying start tour pop-up. I usually don't start the tour and we see it added a menu item down here called SEO. And as we can see, there's an item called XML sitemaps. When we click on that, we'll be able to generate a sitemap for our website. And first you have to make sure this box is checked because that enables XML sitemap functionality. And then you go through each of these tabs to set the settings for the sitemap. If you wanna just keep the default settings and not even look at the options, you can click on save changes. And then your sitemap, will be generated. All I have to do is click on this sitemap link and it will open in another window and here is that sitemap for that current website. Here it says this XML sitemap contains 14 sitemaps. So it went out and generated a bunch of different sitemaps for specific parts of the website. So there's a post sitemap, a pages sitemap, a slide sitemap, portfolio sitemap, you can read through all of them, but there's gonna be a whole bunch of sitemaps that are created when you use this plugin. If you click on the post sitemap, it then shows you all of the posts on the website. And so if we go back to here and we check out the options that we have, there's the user sitemap. So by default it's disabled, but what this does is if you have a whole bunch of authors on your website, this is the sitemap that would have a listing of all the authors. The post types, you can choose which types to not include in your sitemap. So for example, on our sitemap, we have the Fusion Slider sitemap, the Portfolio sitemap, and a whole bunch that don't seem like they'd be really re relevant to search engines. You can actually turn them all off here and just have posts and pages. Now, if we go back to the sitemap here, we should be able to refresh it and it should be updated to have a lot fewer sitemaps, as you can see. It took a, a handful of them out and then we go to taxonomies and we can decide or here we the the ones that are checked are the ones that won't be included so if we go ahead and check all of these say we only want to show our posts in the sitemaps or posts and pages we check all of those click on save changes refresh the page and we're down to just two just our posts and our page sitemap and then you can even have just posts you click on this pages one Save changes, we're gonna have just the posts sitemap. You get the idea. You can go in here and click, you can see the effect on the sitemap almost in real time. You just have to go and refresh it and you can see what the effect is. And then this is the sitemap that search engines will use to scan all the content in your website. Now I recommend that you create at least a sitemap for your posts, a sitemap for your pages, and a sitemap for your images because those are the three core things that Google has in its search index. If you have a lot of videos on your site, 
lot of people don't, but if you do, you should make a sitemap for the videos on your website as well. So Google can find and index those. And then once you have that sitemap created, you use that to put into your Google Webmaster Tools, which I will show you in another video, and then Google taps into that sitemap to find all the content on your website. So in this video, we learned how to create an XML sitemap using the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. If this video did help you, make sure you like it and share it. Check out our social media feed, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.